Welcome back to AgriTalk at the Syngenta Biotechnology Facility in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. We're going to focus now on uh, the challenge of corn rootworm and the very latest in technology there. Joining us again is Dr. Dirk Benson, head of the Corn Trait Project Management for Syngenta. Dirk, uh, you, you were telling me something before we came on, uh, I thought very interesting, that it looks like uh, that the efforts to battle corn rootworm, for the most part, are are being successful. Yes, actually, in many parts of the Corn Belt, uh, corn rootworm populations are much lower than they were before the trade technologies were launched. And uh, even in this year where there have been, you know, reports of challenges, in most cases, well over 99% of the cases, corn rootworm control worked as expected. But it's still an ongoing challenge and looking for the very best ways and products to uh, to fight uh, uh, corn rootworm. What is the latest? What's our latest tool? Well, this certainly is a, a significant fight. In my lifetime in working in corn research, this is the one that doesn't go away. Um, <clears throat> we at Syngenta are launching in uh, 2014 a, project, a product we call AgriSure Duracade. This is a new trait, a new mode of action for corn rootworm control. Tell us a little bit about it. And you said this is 2014, so we're we're kind of looking into the pipeline, looking into the future here. But tell us more about it. Yeah, we we're, we're uh, very excited about this uh, for 2014. This is a trait that provides uh, in our product lineup. It'll be a second mode of action. And in the uh, trials that we have run, and trials that have been run by uh, scientists in the uh, United States Department of Agriculture, they have noted that this trait has the largest reduction in beetle emergence of anything that they've tested. We're well over 99% beetle reduction. We're 99.79 to be specific. Um, And this is really a step change in rootworm control from an emergence perspective. And that's why we really call this a next generation uh, terminology. So will this be stacked with other trades? It will be stacked with uh, AgriSure Rootworm uh, to form the product that is AgriSure Duracade for rootworm control. It will also have the uh, AgriSure Viptera uh, and, and uh, AgriSure Corn Borer Control technologies that we currently have as well as the herbicide tolerance. Okay, so how will Duracade then be different? What specifically does it offer that we don't have available now as a management tool? So this is really the first significant and new uh, biotech rootworm management tool uh, that has come out in, in quite a while. And as we know that what, with the development of potential resistance to these traits in the marketplace, adding a new control measure helps you set the or reset the uh, biological clock on these insects. And our objective is to not only reset the biological clock, but it also gives the, the grower additional management tools for his crops. That's why we talk about it as an ongoing challenge because resistance builds up, and then you have to have uh, you have to uh, have a new tool, a new way to fight uh, fight that resistance. So. Uh, this then, as you said, resets the clock and, and starts us over. That, that it does, and it's really a part of not only an insect resistance management tool, but it's a part of an integrated pest management uh, approach to dealing with these pests. Um, if everybody you know, thinks back a little bit, uh, with the f- tool we used for decades was crop rotation. And in the eastern part of Illinois and in parts of Indiana, uh, all of a sudden farmers were saying, I'm not so sure it's working. And I can remember those days, and and it still is definitely the case where you've got um, dispersal of the insects for egg laying into crops other than corn. Um, So this insect has overcome some significant approaches to pest management. Uh, We've seen... Uh, the launch of traits, and in a sense, uh, with that, a number of farmers stopped using uh, soil-applied insecticides. And uh, as they're getting more concerned about the durability of traits in some situations, they're bringing back those soil insecticides. And that's certainly uh, apropos to the situation that some of these growers are up against. Okay, you said 2014. Kind of uh, take us through the timeline here. So actually, we we do have another exciting product that is coming uh, to growers this uh, planting season, and that is the AgriSure 3122 Easy Refuge. And we launched uh, AgriSure 3122 in a block refuge uh, for last growing season, and this growing season we have the approval for a refuge in a bag or AgriSure uh, 3122 Easy Refuge. The... 
activities around developing these traits, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the new trait, Agrisure Duracade, uh, is a process from the time in which you make the decision we're going to start to commercial, a commercial development of a new biotech trait. It's about 10 years. All right, so when the grower says this is new and exciting technology, in my role in the organization, I've done a decade, or my people, the people I work with and the people in this facility have done a decade of work to get it to you. Well, that's quite an investment in time and money before that product ever gets to the market. Uh, that is entirely correct. And a big part of that effort is not only in understanding how the trait works and the trait works, but it's also around making sure that we comply with the regulatory requirements, which are really around making sure that the trace trait is safe for not only human consumption, but, but feed grains and things along that line as well. And where will it be accepted? That's another big part as new traits are developed, making sure they are accepted in export markets around the world. Oh, that's entirely correct. And actually, when we start down the, the process of, of developing the data for the regulatory uh, approval process, uh, we target that we need certain countries and in, in place for approvals before we launch into the marketplace. And as we well know, though that the uh, expanding global economy and the exports are moving into new countries we can get about halfway through that process and all of a sudden we've got a new country to deal with um, <clears throat> so it's not only challenging from a science perspective it's challenging from a political perspective and a regulatory perspective to get these products on the marketplace another challenge i'm just thinking about you talking about a 10-year window there it's kind of hard then to um to be able to address something that's happening immediately i mean to know what that but the time you start the, the process and uh, you get to that time you get to the market, I mean, uh, I mean, new challenges come along in the meantime. So it, it is tough to uh, to make that time out right, I would. Oh, that's entirely correct. And that's the benefit of an organization like Syngenta with a rich pipeline. We have a number of new approaches to controlling corn rootworm. Uh, that we are developing either in our proof of technology, proof of concept, or in the early development phases of our R&D pipeline. And that's just for corn rootworm. We do the same thing for lepidopteran uh, insect control in our in corn and in other crops. We do the same thing for our, our grout technologies, our artesian, as well as GM approaches to that. So it's not only a, a long-term commitment, but it's a rich pipeline that is required to be successful. So it'll be 2014 before we know it, but uh, want people to be aware of AgriSure Duracade be here soon. Yes, it will, and I think it'll be a very exciting product in the marketplace. All right, Dirk, thank you very much. Well, thank you for having me. All right, kind of a look into the pipeline here at Syngenta, if you will, and in this case, in the ongoing battle with corn rootworm. That's Dr. Dirk Benson, head of the Corn Trade Project Management uh, for Syngenta. All right, now tomorrow we're going to move over to Greensboro. We're going to talk about uh, some more of the work being done at Syngenta. Some of the topics we'll be covering tomorrow, weed resistance, that's a hot, hot topic. We're going to talk about atrazine, get the very latest on atrazine, key product for agriculture, but of course has been in the news quite a bit, and we'll talk about the very latest there. And we'll talk about the fungicides, we'll talk about stress management for crops, all that coming up tomorrow as we continue our uh, trip here to uh, North Carolina to see the very and hear the very latest from Syngenta. Again, next Monday and Tuesday, we're in Nashville for the American Farm Bureau Federation annual meeting. Busy time. Thanks for joining us today on AgriTalk, the voice of rural America.